Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, my name is Mike, and today we have Monica. Hi, Monica. Hi, Mike. This is our first time to work together on television, our first show together, right? Yes, it is. All right. Won't you please, well, let's talk a little bit about you mm -hmm. <laughs> to familiarize everyone at home with you and myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you some questions about where you live, what are your favorite colors, for example, green, obviously, and then you can ask me some questions before we get started with the content of today's show, okay? Okay. Good. So, um, where were you born? I was born in Madrid. Okay. And is that inside the city center, or when you say Madrid, is that the community, or is that the city center? No, I mean the city center. Okay, so what, what neighborhood exactly? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't remember the name because I moved from the neighborhood when I was seven, so... Okay, um, but for example in Barrio Salamanca or... In no, near the airport. Near the airport, mm -hmm. okay. Where do you live today? Today I live in Plaza España. Plaza España. Do you know one of the best restaurants, one of the best Chinese restaurants in, in, uh, in Madrid is underneath? Plaza España. Have yeah. you been there? Yes. It's fantastic. I love that place. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Ask me a couple of questions about, about myself. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in the United States. In which state? I was born in Texas. In Texas. How old are you? That's not, that's not a good question to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I am <clears throat> older than 30 and younger than 40. Mm, okay. How old are you? I'm younger than 30. <laughs> <laughs> Only. 28. Ah, okay. I, I'm, I'm 37. 37? I'm 38, very, very shortly. Are you serious? I am serious. You I look, look young younger. for my age. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's mm -hmm. healthy living, clean living. Mm. Okay. Would you like to know what we're going to do today? Yes, I want to know what we're going to do today. Okay. Today's class is going to focus on two things in particular. The accusative, and then later we're going to practice an expression every other day. All right. So. The accusative for the formula. So an example of the, f of the accusative is I want you to, I want them to, they want me to do something. So again the formula is subject plus want plus the object pronoun plus an infinitive. Okay? Very good. One thing you have to be careful about a lot of people make the mistake of saying, I want that he come, for example, and we, we never say that. Never say, I want that, okay? Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions, and let's see how she does. Here we go. Okay. Do you want me to open the door? Yes, I want you to open the door. Do you want me to close the door? Yes, I want you to close the door. Do you want me to pay the bills? Yes, I want you to pay the bills. Do you want him to quit his job? No, I don't want him to quit his yeah, job. It's very good. It's very bad to quit the job. Mm -hmm. well, unless you're going to a better job, of, of course. course. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Do you want me to read a book in English? Yes, I want you to read a book in English. Do you want me to read a book in Spanish? Yes, I want you to read a book in Spanish. No, you don't want me to read a book in Spanish. Not on this show. All right. Okay. It's okay, but not on the show. This is the English show, not the Spanish show, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want me to set the alarm? Uh, yes, I want you to set the alarm. Do you want him to speak Russian? Yes, I want him to speak Russian. Do you want me to teach you in Italian? Uh, no, I don't want you to teach me in Italian. Do, I, do you want me to show you my pen? Yes, I want you to show <laughs> me your pen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to wear a tie on the television? No, I don't want you to wear a tie on the television. Do you want her to wear a skirt to class? Uh, yes, I want her to wear a skirt to class. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to buy a pizza for the y both of us? Yes, I want you to buy a pizza for both of us. Mm -hmm. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Now, you knew we were going to talk about this because, you know, we, when we're not on camera, we talk about pizza a lot, right? And why do we talk about pizza a lot when we're not on camera, Monica? Because you think it's one of the most important things <laughs> in the world. <laughs> it's not that I think that. We both think that. Well, we, we both think that 
Uh, good people must like pizza. Good, good people must like pizza. Or the people who likes pizza are people good ones. People who one. likes pizza. Wait a minute. That sounds crazy. Sounds crazy? Well, I, I don't recommend speaking that way in public. Why not? The people who likes? Who likes like to eat pizza? People who like eating pizza. Uh, people who you may like repeat now. Okay. People we think that people who like eating pizza are nice people. Well, that's true. That's true. Everybody likes pizza. Anybody who, in their common sense, likes pizza. I like pizza. Monica likes pizza. The majority of you probably like pizza. And people who don't like pizza should not. Be trusted, exactly, should not be trusted, the same as the Beatles. Do you like the Beatles? Yes, I like the Beatles. I like the Beatles. The majority of the people like the Beatles. And people who don't like the Beatles? Should not be trusted. Should not be trusted, exactly. A little piece of advice from Mike and Monica. <laughs> Let's continue with the show. Okay. Well, do you want me to fight with my wife? No, I don't want you to fight with your wife. That's, that's very bad. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to grow a beard? Uh, yes, I want you to grow a beard. Okay. Do you want me to grow a long beard? No, I don't want you to grow a long beard. Do you want me to grow a long mustache? <laughs> like Dali? Yes, I want you to grow a long mustache. <laughs> I can use mustache wax. And <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want me to grow my hair long? No, I don't want you to grow your hair long. I want you to grow your hair long. Longer. Longer than it is now. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And does he like your hair long? Yes, I'm short. He likes your hair long or short? Which is it? Both of us. What do you mean both of us? Both of, bo both. Just both. Both what? You're confusing me? You're both. fighting the people at home? Why? No, let me explain to you. Okay. Uh, uh, my boyfriend likes my hair long or short. Mm -hmm. He likes me the way I am. That's a very good boyfriend. But does he prefer your hair long or does he prefer your hair short? I think he prefers my hair long. You are a girl? Yes. But there are a lot of women that look nice with short hair. Yes. Yeah. And I think you could look nice both ways. Okay, thank you. Sure, we'll mention it. <laughs> All right. Do you want Pepe to steal a car? No, I don't want Pepe to steal a car. Do you want Paul to tell a joke? Yes, I want Paul to tell a joke. Do you want me to throw a party? Yes, I want you to throw a party. What does throw a party mean? Because for a lot of people that's confusing. Organizar una fiesta? Yes, your Spanish is very good. And your English is very good too. Exactly, to organize a party. Organize a party. <laughs> All right, do you want me to deal with the clients? Uh, yes, I want you to deal with the clients. Very good. Do you want me to deal with the customers? Uh, yes, I want you to deal with the customers. Okay. Now, just something else, something a little more information. What is the difference, in general, between a customer and a client? Hmm. I'm talking to you, Monica. I can't hear them talking to me. Tell me what's the difference, because I don't know the tell difference. Tell me what the difference is. What, tell me what the difference the difference. Tell me if what the difference is. Tell me what the difference is. Repeat, please. Tell me what the difference is. Good, repeat. <laughs> Tell me what the difference is. The difference between a customer and a client, in general, because mm -hmm. there's always exceptions. In general, a customer is someone who buys a product, and a client is someone who buys a service. Mm -hmm. But there are exceptions, of course. All right, let's get back to the, the main lesson again. Do you want me to come to class every day this week? No, I don't want you to come to class every day this week. Do not make me look bad on my show, Monica. Okay, yes, I uh, want you to yeah, come yeah. to class every day of yeah. this week. Yeah, of course, of course you do. That's a very good girl. <laughs> do you want me to buy you lunch 
this week? No, I don't want you to buy me lunch this week. Okay. I want you to buy me lunch this week. Okay. Will you buy me lunch this week? Yes, if you want to. Nice, that's good. Okay. Do you want me to go to the park later? Can you repeat, please? You want me to go to the park later? Uh, a park is a place with a lot of grass, a lot of trees and shrubs. I don't know if you've ever been to one or have ever seen one. <laughs> we have one in Madrid, actually. It's really big. It's called oh, the Riquero. Yes? Mm. Oh. Yes. Do you want me to go to the park? Later. No, because it will be dark. Mm. Mm. And it, mm. it could be dangerous. The parks are very dangerous at night. You're yes. right. You should all listen to Monica. Thank yes. you for that piece of advice, Monica. We will never ever go to the park late at night. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want me to raise the flag? Uh, yes, I want you to raise the flag. Okay. Do you want me to blow up the candle or blow up the balloon? I think it is blow up the balloon. Exactly. Blow up the balloon. Blow out the candle and blow off. I have no idea. I taught her this last week. Huh. I forgot. You didn't write it down, did you? No. Mm, good idea to take notes. Yes. Mm, at home or in Mike's class, doesn't matter. Okay. To blow off means to postpone. Oh. But to postpone because you're feeling lazy. So you can blow off, well, to blow off because you're feeling lazy or postpone because you're feeling lazy. So in theory, you can blow off your homework, but you should never blow off your homework. You can blow off doing the dishes, blow off washing the clothes, but you typically would not say to blow off the meeting because you could get fired. And that's, it's never good to get fired, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very so good. So what would you say for uh, a meeting? That's great. Um, to, for a meeting, we'd say we'd have to postpone the meeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm sure there's another phrasal verb out there for that. Um, put off. Ah, put off. Put off a meeting. Because blow off can mean to, to postpone for another moment, another day, or permanently. And put off means to, to postpone, but you will do it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a little little nuance there. Okay, very good. Do you want me to drive drunk on the road and wreck my car? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, want, I don't want you to drive your car drunk. Okay, on the road. On the road. And wreck my car. I, and wreck your car. Yeah, wreck my car. Crash okay. or wreck. They're synonyms to crash my car or wreck my car. Can you spell it, please? Yes, with a W. That, that's not good enough. W R. <laughs> see the way she looks at me. W R E C K. To uh, wreck. Same thing as to crash. Okay. So, do you want me to drive my car over a cliff? No, I want. I don't want you to run. Drive. To dr To drive. I don't know about your world, Monica, but in my world, I drive a car. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want you to run a car over a cliff. Uh, well, I drive a car. You may run a car, I drive a car. Oh, sorry, drive. You at home probably drive a car, I, I don't quite know. Monica, she runs a car. I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, yeah, Mike, I'm running my like car. The, like the Flintstones. I'm going to run my car over the cliff. <laughs> have you seen the Flintstones? I have seen the Flintstones. They run their cars. Well, they were cavemen. Yes. Big difference. Today we're in the 21st century <laughs> and we have things called engines. Oh, mm, okay. Modern technology. Yeah, it's amazing. Hmm. So, do you want me to hold your hand? Uh, no, I don't want you to hold my hand. My hands. Well, your hand is good. Oh. Grammatically, it's all good. Mm -hmm. but it's a little rude. I'm the star of the show. Uh, you are the simple student and you would think that you would want to hold my hand because I'm the star. <laughs> okay. Ah, your boyfriend, her boyfriend would get and upset. And your wife. And my wife. Let's not forget that I, yes. I am married and although she may not be watching right now, she may watch this in the future. <laughs> so yes, very good. I'm you a good not girl. Hands. You are a good girl. And mm -hmm. I'm, a good, I'm a good guy. Yes, you are. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Do you want me to continue with this lesson? 
Yes, I want you to continue with this lesson. Okay. Actually, we're not going to continue with this special topic. We're going to continue with the next topic, which is... Every other day. Every other day, exactly. Or just the expression, every other. Now, one thing to be careful of. The common Spanglish mistake is... One day yes, one day no. Exactly. One day yes and one day no. All right. So, not a good idea to say that. Complete Spanglish. We never say that. All right. One other thing. Something else to consider. We can also say every two days, every three days, every other year, every other month, every other week. So, we're going to start off with this simple expression every other day. I will ask you questions. You give me just the answers, mm -hmm. and then we'll move on to a little more complex expressions. Are we ready, Monica? I'm ready. Very good. I like how you play the game. Here we go. How, oh, now, all of your answers, <laughs> all of your answers <laughs> must be affirmative, okay? Here we go. How often do you wash your hair? I wash my hair every other day. Interesting. Uh, I have a question. Is it better, is it healthier for your hair to wash your hair every day or every other day? Every other why? day. Why? Why? That's what the hairdressers say. What the hairdressers do? Because your hair get used to your be Your hair clean. what? Your hair get... Your you hair get. Gets, it sounds like, ah, ah, the S. Yes, I forgot about yes, the S. Yes, forgot about the S. Mm -hmm. Okay, Go your ahead. hair gets used to be clean, so it gets dirty faster I don't you can again you're uh, I don't know what you're talking about Hi, Mike <laughs> oh, I'm sorry <laughs> I, I, your hair gets used to getting dirty faster I, I, no your I, hair is used to be clean always your hair so is used to be clean always grammatically I understand I just the the concept the concept of your hair gets used to it I, why how's that bad I don't know. Help me. Help us at home. It's easier for, well, your hair gets greasier faster than you, if you wash it every day. Is that right? It no. doesn't sound like it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Help me, please, Mike. I think, uh, well, in theory, I think that if you wash it every day, yes. it strips, it takes away the natural nutrients of your hair that makes it shiny and beautiful and healthy. Okay, it makes it brittle, makes it kind of <coughs> breakable, brittle, yeah? So then at the very end, your hair isn't soft and shiny and smooth. It is very clean, but it's very hard and brittle. It can break like straw. Straw? 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 What is straw? Uh, a pajita. <laughs> to drink. Well, not as, well, that is straw, that's true. <laughs> a straw to drink uh. water from. But straw is also the grass that is dried, that you feed horses and cows with. Oh. And that is very brittle, mm -hmm. breakable. Okay. So I'm glad you wash your hair every other day. Now let's practice every other month. How often do you change your sheets <laughs> in the bed, Monica? I'm going to lie, okay? Mm. I want you don't to have to lie, tell the truth. It must be affirmative. I wash my sheets every week. <sighs> I know it's not correct, but... <laughs> the game is on this show, Monica, that you follow my lead. And that must mean that you follow the jokes and you must take all the bad jokes as well. Okay. Okay, so how often Tell the truth, must be affirmative. Do you wash your sheets on your bed? I wash my sheets on my bed every other week. <laughs> that is not good hygiene, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's speed things up. How often do you go to the dentist? I go to the dentist every other year. <laughs> no, every other six months. Well, every year, I think. Six I months to one year is what they yeah. say. But every other year, maybe waiting a little too yeah. long. Yeah. Well, hmm. 
You ask me questions. Ask me how often I pay my taxes. How often do you pay your taxes? Oh, God. I pay my taxes every other quarter. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Ask me how often I steal a car. How often do you steal a car? I steal a car every other day. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm a car thief. Hmm. My real job as a teacher doesn't pay enough, so I have to do something to augment my, my, my salary and my toys. It's understandable. Yeah. Hmm. Ask me how often I drink beer. How often do you drink a beer? I drink a beer every other week. I'm You're very lying. Healthy. I, drink, I drink vegetable juice and, and fruit juice every day, but a beer every other week. Okay. <laughs> Ask me how often I cut my hair. How often do you cut your hair? I cut my hair every other month. It looks that way too, doesn't it? Grows mm -hmm. up, just does what it wants to here. Mm -hmm. But I wash it every day like you. I'm mm -hmm. kind of obsessed that way about cleanliness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me how often I go jogging. How often do you go jogging? I go jogging every other day. Every other day. Yeah, mm -hmm. every other day to give my knees a rest. Every day it starts to hurt. I'm getting to be old. <laughs> Not like you in your 20s. Yes. Mm. Ask me how often I speak Spanish. How often do you speak Spanish? I speak Spanish every other day. That's not true. I really speak Spanish every day, but you wouldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> so in theory, so I tell people I speak Spanish every other day. All right. Ask me how often I uh, ring a bell. How often Wait, do you? I have to sing here. It's a very popular song from the 1970s in the States. You can ring my bell. Help me. I have ring that. my bell. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Ask me how often. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Ask me how often I buy a new house. How often do you buy a new house? Mm. I buy a new house every decade. Sorry, every other decade, which means every 20, 20 years. years. Mm. Mm. Ask me how often I fly a kite. How often do you fly a kite? I fly a kite every other season. Hmm. Mm. So in the summer, in the spring, I, uh, well, summer, yes. In the fall, no. Winter, yes. Spring, no. Okay. Ask me how often I hold a business meeting. How often do you hold a business meeting? I hold a business meeting every other day. How often do you blow? Uh-oh. Blow up a balloon. How often do you blow up a balloon? I blow up a balloon um, every other year. Okay. And what is the occasion? My cousin's birthday. Your cousin's birthday. So apparently your cousin's birthday only <laughs> has a birthday every other year. Interesting. Well, sometimes I, I, I can go, sometimes I cannot. So sometimes I you cannot. Are no, you being because I'm busy. Sometimes I cannot. I can't go. Ah, can't. Normal speech, I see. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I cannot. <laughs> it is okay to say, but it's very... Yes, but it sounds a bit uh, strong. Little, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm a robot, I cannot. <laughs> In general, we use contractions. I can't go. Okay. Sometimes Every, I can't go. Yeah. That's poor, poor kid. Hmm. And is your oh, is a cousin. It's not a nephew mm -hmm. or niece, right? How old is your cousin? Twelve. Oh, so he's a kid anyway. So he must cry when you don't go. Yes. All right. Okay. It's very bad of you, by the way. <laughs> the people probably think very poorly of you now at home. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> How often do you buy a new watch for your boyfriend? How often do you buy a new watch for your boyfriend? Um, I buy a new watch for my boyfriend every other decade. Every other decade? Yeah, I, I, I don't buy a, him watches. Bad girlfriend. He doesn't like them. Uh -uh. Okay. Buy him a ring. He doesn't like rings. Buy him a shirt. Yes, he likes shirts. How often do you buy him a shirt? Every other month or two months. Can you say every other two months? Yeah, you can say every other two months. Mm -hmm. You can say every other three months as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all the time we have left for today. I want to thank you, Monica, for showing up and for being the victim. <laughs> and I want to thank you at home for watching and paying attention to us. I hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>